What's bracking guys? Welcome to episode 9 of my Everton career mode. So we'll get this episode started off with a huge match against Lille at home at Goodison Park in the Euro League. As you can see in the table coming up, things are so tight. Six points shared between Everton and Lille and Wolfsburg. Of course, Cross is kind of the uh, team that's getting beat up in the group, but we'll have to see... Uh, if we can make some room between us and Lille and possibly Wolfsburg if Krasnodar picks up a result against them. So I have Naismith behind Selk, of course, Le Lennon on the right. Uh, so, of course, having a step in for injured Lukaku, who's been out for uh, he's out for three weeks. I think it's been about a week now. So uh, hopefully we can get through. I think he actually should be fit for the next match. That's so probably been two weeks. But Lille will come out with the narrow diamond formation. So this formation could definitely cause some problems, especially... Uh, in those narrow parts of the pitch, definitely going to have to have our guys out wide and Barkley, uh, excuse me, Naismith help out. But Naismith will come out, does a good job with the ball right here. Going to play the ball in, so backs up on this man. Good ball to Gibson. It's going to take a shot. It's going to be deflected out for a corner here. Some good link up play already. I really like the way Selk uh, just has some good composure, you know, with his back to goal. But we'll see ball in, going to fall here. And somehow it's going to hit off of the goalkeeper. Fall to this and is going to hit it underneath. Of uh, the little goalkeeper and Yama. Um, just really weird stuff. <laughs> As you can see, uh, the defender tried to clear it off. The defender on the push tried to clear it off, hit it off of the goalkeeper's chest, and uh, this then takes advantage of it. We'll see a good ball here to Leighton Baines. And look at this tremendous shot. What a screamer from Leighton Baines. That is just tremendous stuff to start this game off. I uh, wasn't expecting that shot. I just want to take a. A good rip at it. We have a little bit of space. Might as well try to test the keeper. At le least, you know, maybe try to uh, force a save. But perfectly placed into the side netting on that finish there. Good, another good angle here. Goes around the defender. Keeper has no chance into the side netting. Just so much technique there from Baines. Tremendous placement. Good amount of power as well. As you can see, the Everton faithful just went in arms but right after we scored that goal I was expecting as you can see ball played here to Origi and he's going to finish that uh, so you see Origi of course uh, the Belgium the Belgian player uh, the Be Belgian international is actually going to um, score I don't know what I was talking about with Lukaku either earlier he's going to be available for this game <laughs> so uh, you'll end up seeing him eventually but yeah ball, ball played here from Lennon back out it's going to take a good rip at it and force a nice save. But, uh, yeah, you'll see uh, Lukaku, Lukaku will eventually come on along with uh, to face off against his Belgian uh, fellow Belgian striker. But that was, again, a good chance from Selk. And as you can see, Lukaku was on the bench. And he is going to come on. And uh, Morales is going to have to come off as well due to his fitness. Um, but uh, the first sub will be Morales, actually. The first sub off will be Morales for Barkley. Do not know what's up with my call returning. I basically just woke up, so I'm sorry about that. But uh, Leo will come back on and take a good rip at, at it. What a finish there off of the crossbar into the goal. Um, tremendous shot. And, you know, two of Leeds, they say those are the hardest to defend. And it definitely proved true. So he gave it the first goal right away. Never a good sign because then you allow, you know, the other team to get so much time to try to chase that second goal, that uh, equalizer to come back into the game. That, of course, is a tremendous finish, as you can see here. It's a long throw, good layoff right here, and a tremendous finish. Uh, Tim Howard with absolutely no chance right there. Lukaku now will come on, excuse me, for Darren Gibson as we will switch to a diamond formation and have both Selk and Lukaku up top. You'll see late in this game, uh, the ball is going to fall back. Good job from Naismith. He's going to just run out of the defense. Here is Selk. He's going to wait for the run of Lukaku over the top. Lukaku in his first game back since being out for three weeks with injury. What a finish from Lukaku to grab the uh, goal to put us back in the lead. Of course, we dropped two goals very quickly, so it's still going to be uh, a bit uh, tough to try to come back, uh, or excuse me, to finish off the game, but we did. But it was a great job from us, you know, coming back in that one to grab that goal. But we have to go against Burnley now with a basically entirely backup squad. It's complete rotation for the most part, as you'll see here um, coming up. Uh, Burnley, of course, they have a good, so decent side. So the lookout for Ings. Uh, Kitely can cause some problems. And uh, Trippier, I really like him on the right. But uh, we'll see uh, how we can fare against his side with basically completely change squad. So we have Robles, Hibbert, Browning, Stones, Garbett, Osman Besic, McGeady, Pinar, Barkley, Lukaku. Really like, you know, the wingers 
uh, on our side. We have some good midfielders there, but Browning, Hibbert, and Garbage are definitely going to be tested in this matchup. We'll see the ball played here through the middle. Ovestad to Barnes, and he's just going to force a huge save from uh, Joel right there. Great stuff from him to basically reach back and palm that away. But Garbage does a nice job causing some problems. Comes back to the defender. He's going to send this cross in to Lukaku. He's going to head it right at the keeper, basically. All he had to do was tip it over. Uh, wish he would just put, put that on either side of the goal and it could have uh, been a another goal from Lukaku in this one. We'll see Ovestad does a great job playing the ball to Ings right there. Really showed some nice little agility. Played the ball in, and Ings with an easy finish, of course. Um, definitely going to be tough now to try to come back with this squad, but I think we can. Uh, as you can see, Pinar back to Osman, back to Garbit out wide, and he's going to cut back in to his right. Has a lot of space. He's going to play the ball to Besic, and a great deflection right there from Marnie, I believe it was. But what uh, some good play. As we can see, we're just trying to come back and grab that equalizer. Second half now, Besic, ball back out wide to Tony Hibbert. He's going to play the ball over to Naismith. Great header from him, but that goes chest wide. Very close from Naismith. Of course, he seems to always get himself in great positions and everything, but uh, he cannot you know, come up with the big goal right there. Oh my god, my voice just cracked terribly, but uh, we'll see back now. Late in the game, he's going to send the ball forward to Lukaku, to Barkley. That's a great job getting around that tackle. Gets around another defender. He's going to finish that. What a goal from Ross Barkley. Um, definitely, you know, has been in and out of the lineup. Kind of been pushed out for Naismith. Uh, but uh, definitely is, has made the case for him to start in the next matchup, in the next episode. So we'll see how that goes. We've actually finally found a really good youth player. Very promising uh, Rice Bell. Looks like he has some nice little acceleration, sprint speed, short passing. Agility could be better, but... Uh, Definitely think he could be a quality player in the future. So we're definitely going to sign him up for our side. As you can see, uh, definitely want to you know have that youth squad. Uh, mainly English players what I'm going after right now. But we won't look in other areas. But we'll take a look at the squad report now. Of course, Tim Howard still quality. Uh, Robles, we'd like to see a little bit more growth. But uh, Pennington out on loan. Juk is going down physically as is distant, of course, with their age. Stones is going up a little bit mentally, which is not bad at all. But I would like to see some more progression. Maybe technically Brownie's going up, and I like him. So we'll see if he can be at least you know, a nice squad rotation player. Baines is going up. That's nice to see Oviedo going up with his mental stats. Garbage, of course, technically, physically, mentally. So it's great to see McCarthy mentally, Besic mentally as well. Then uh, Barry is going down. He doesn't even feature anymore, to be honest. But Lennon and McGeady are growing still, which is interesting to see. osman has gone down a lot. But Ledson, who doesn't really even... He just sits on the bench. And Junior are going up, which is nice. PNR, of course, with his age, is going down. Barkley uh, growing a little bit in his mental stats. And Luka, who has dropped due to his injury, it seems like. But Selk, technically, is growing very nicely, uh, which is great to see. Especially that finishing, heading accuracy... Uh, that's a, some great growth from him. McCowney out on loan. Long is not growing. I'd like to see him grow a little bit more, but uh, that's not the case, unfortunately. So take a look at who we'll be playing in the next episode. We will be playing West Ham United and Sunderland. So I definitely think we need to grab six points in the episode, at least against Sunderland. Maybe a draw against West Ham would be acceptable. We've been dropping a lot of points lately. Either way, we're still in a great position, fifth with a game in hand. Uh, win would with that game in hand, we can get ahead of the likes of Manchester United and Southampton, push up in a third place, and possi uh, possibly uh, Manchester City as well, because we do have that goal differential in our advantage. But with that, guys, I'll be signing out now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you guys later.